idea today was to convene a roundtable of subject matter experts in your respective fields to talk about the threat posed by fentanyl. Illicit we man manufactured fentanyl has basically acted like rocket fuel in the upward trajectory of overdose deaths that we've seen in the state of Ohio. So when you add up the years from 2013 to 2018, according to the Ohio Department of Health, fentanyl and its analogs killed 10,263 Ohioans. And by way of comparison, less than 6,500 Americans have been killed in all military operations underway since September 11, 2001. So it's just a shock is that an analog is structurally similar to fentanyl. Uh, it packs the same narcotic punch, if not more potent than fentanyl. Um, and they are not legally treated under our federal laws um, as fentanyl because of these slight modifications in the chemical structure of the analog. So uh, in recognition of the threat posed by fentanyl and analogs, in February of 2018, the DEA used their emergency authority under the Controlled Substances Act to classify all fentanyl analogs as Schedule I controlled substances, which is the same designation, for instance, that's used for heroin. Uh, and this emergency scheduling will expire on February 6, 2020. That is just three weeks from so today. So when, when we first started seeing fentanyl uh, in our area, you know, it was coming directly from uh, China. Uh, what we've seen uh, since uh, is it coming through Mexico. And the precursors are going uh, from China through the U.S. down to Mexico, made in Mexico and back up uh, this way manufactured. And we're finding uh, fentanyl in almost uh, every drug that we see, cocaine, uh, crystal methamphetamine, uh, marijuana, uh, places you wouldn't think that you would ever see uh, fentanyl. And uh, you know, our legislation, uh, the STOP Act is helping um, our legislation to provide more technology is helping uh, with Customs and Border Protection. Some of it's now being transshipped through Mexico, Justin, as you know well, um, because of our success in a way, it's now um, going from China to Mexico and then going across the border often, as you know, in a, in a form that looks like a prescription drug um, pill. So it's, it's a good news and a bad news story, uh, but it continues. So as China's done a better job of uh, scheduling the analogs and even the precursors, in other words, not just fentanyl, but a slight molecular change into fentanyl or a precursor. Uh, we have an amazing situation here, which just can't be allowed to happen, which is that fentanyl uh, analogs could actually fall off the schedules here. In other words, no longer be uh, an illegal drug. And so we are trying very hard, as you indicate, to try by uh, three weeks from tomorrow, uh, when it when the deadline occurs to ensure that we continue to schedule these drugs that are causing so much harm in the Northeast Ohio community. But uh, my hope is that we won't have a, a glum lapse in terms of the scheduling. Uh, my, also, uh, my hope also is that it be permanent, that we not have to go through this periodically. So our legislation is permanent uh, so that we don't have the DEA and others having to think about uh, uh, you know, what would happen if it lapses again. Uh, but anyway, there are some competing bills for it. The, the House has not passed the bill yet. I think the Senate's going to have to lead, and I hope we'll get it done here in the next uh, few days before uh, we're challenged by doing it because of the impeachment where you can't do other legislation. So anyway, that's the report on, on the fentanyl scheduling. Um, the number of people that have died, I would imagine that every single household, if they don't have somebody in their house, then they've had somebody close to them who has passed away or been hit by this crisis. So that's basically what I really believe in is the education, it's so important. And on every level, whether it's our communities, um, our schools, uh, whether young schools, high schools, college students, um, they all need to be aware of just how great this issue is and how deep it goes and how many people it attacks.